What'd you say? Cut the tape? With your teeth. With my teeth. CZ does such a great job taping their boxes up. They're almost impossible. And then it's always a box within a box. So, just so you know what's coming. It's fucking magical. It's easy, Brent, too. Hey guys, Alex here from a &R Design, and we have a special gun to show you. Uh, we were so lucky to have such a great relationship with uh, CZ USA that we have a CZ Bren 2 military issued. This is a law lettered machine gun. So this is full auto. This is from Czech Republic. It was imported on a Form 6 and then Form 3 to our license. So I think this might be the first dealer sample in the United States right now. So just a quick run through, it's very similar to the 805 Bren, but it weighs nothing. This thing is light, light, light. I think it's, I don't know the exact weight, don't really care. It's fucking light. Um, this is an 11 inch barrel, so the chamber is about here. Um, so it looks like it's got a long barrel, but it's not. Um, it's in a 14 left hand thread. So we're going to bring it to Parker Mountain Machine, we're going to have it chopped down uh, a little shorter and then we will uh, cut it and crown it for a uh, half by 28 so I can put a 6 hour 5.56 QD. So it's got the removable Picatinny rails on it. Um, I'm going to see if these fit the KNS replacement rails to switch them to M-Lock. I'd like to be have this a little skinnier, it'll be a little lighter, but it's awesome. Uh, this is a post sample. You can see it's got a nice stipple on the grip. Super comfortable. I like how it tails out there. Um, it's got a carbon fiber composite frame and stock and a very lightweight bill of aluminum upper receiver. I mean, this thing, I don't know, this thing maybe weighs five and a half, six pounds. Um, we put a T2 on here with a kinetic development mount and an Enforce WML uh, Gen 2. Um, so it's got a, similar to uh, the, 80, um, the 805 Bren, it does have a side charging handle. Uh, you can switch sides just by removing your back end, pulling this out and swapping it. Uh, this is a much lighter weight system. This is a much lighter weight system than the uh, 805. Uh, the recoil impulse is a lot less. Um, it's also a non-reciprocating charging handle. So a lot of people, um, on like at least the 805, they move this charging handle back a little bit because a lot of people put their thumb up and uh, obviously it would cause it to, um, you would have a user error malfunction. Um, if you were running this with gear and you needed to be on your back and shooting, the charging handle could get caught on gear and also cause a malfunction. So this is a non-reciprocating charging handle um, so you can get all over it as much as you want. And they lightened up the bolt and spring assembly so with the 805 Bren, every time that heavy bolt slammed forward, you would have a, a stronger recoil impulse. And the 805 Bren definitely had a stronger recoil impulse than the SCAR, uh, the FN SCAR. Um, up here, they have a little latch on the um, they have a little latch on the gas block, and they made it super easy to change the gas setting. So vertical is in the one uh, supersonic, and then they have a two and an open. Um, so they have two suppressed gas settings, uh, one for, um, sorry, you know, if you're, if you're running it full auto, you got two extra gas settings. Complementary to the uh, 805 Bren that only had two gas settings. 
So that's really cool, and it's a lot easier to switch. You can just rotate it by holding that uh, little detented latch down. Um, they have your sling, your sling QDs. They are of different size. Not the biggest fan of that. Um, I was really hoping my Parker Mountain Machine. I was really hoping my Parker Mountain Machine um, QDs for the 805 Bren would fit this, but they're a lot different. Comes with this extremely long muzzle device because it's a left-hand thread and the barrel profile is so skinny. They have to put a locking um, a locking nut here. So this is actually two pieces, and it's about a one inch uh, th cut and threaded section. So when we remove this, we're going to cut this down, and then uh, Jared over at Parker Mountain Machine likes to press on like a collar. So there is a shoulder for you to tighten down your um, your muzzle devices to. So long story short, this is the eight uh, this is the Bren two, and we are going to shoot. Oh, I didn't show you something. So these are empty mags. Um, we got bolt drop. It's got mag release here, mag release here bolt release and then if you see inside the trigger guard there is a bolt release built into it so if you have a magazine oh and it locks to the rear which is nice um, and you can do bolt drop you can do bolt drop with the paddle the 80, 805 Bren you couldn't do bolt drop uh, from the paddle they had a bolt lock but not a bolt drop you had to actually physically charge it um, so you can go, you can go either down for bolt release, or um, yeah, I think it's just down. You can go down for bolt release, but they have like it's knurled on the top side too. So if you don't want to, it's basically a bad lever built into the into the gun. There's a bolt release there, so you don't have to take your trigger uh, finger out of the trigger. Um, it's a little stiff. I'm sure it'll loosen up, but I thought that was a cool feature to share. Um, I can, if you can see in there. And see how small it is and the amount of travel. mag drop here for Ambi. I'm going to show you I hate doing this but finger in the trigger and then bolt release. So we have the 805 Bren here. Uh, this does have a foregrip on it, so we can negate that out. So it's about eight pounds. This is at a 10.5 inch barrel length. And the Bren 2.
don't think I hit any of those last ones. Guys, click like, subscribe, check us out, leave a comment, we love to hear feedback.